Good evening, math friends. Tonight's lesson is lesson 9.1 and 9.2. Relate tenths and hundredths to decimals. We're going to be working on page 171 in your Go Math book. Make sure to write the essential question down. How can you record tenths and hundredths as decimals? Go ahead and write this down on page 171, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, let's look at number one on page 171. They've already solved this one, but I'm going to walk you through the problem. So we're going to look and listen. Now it says write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal shown by the model. So we have a model here. We have a hole. It's not fully shaded in, so it's not worth one hole yet. We have a hole cut into 10 equal pieces. So it's out of tenths. Now, when we look at our place value chart, we see ones here. If it were shaded all the way, we could go into the ones, but it's not. We only have it cut into tenths and only some of it is shaded. Let's count how many parts are shaded out of tenths. We have one, two, three, four, five, six out of 10 are shaded. So that's the fraction that we have here, six tenths. Now, if we look at our place value chart, we know that we don't have any holes. We have zero holes because we don't have one shaded all the way in. And we have six tenths, and that is to the right of my decimal, is the tenths place. When I have a model cut into 10 equal parts, it's out of tenths. So our fraction is six out of 10 shaded, and our decimal is six tenths. All right, let's look at number two. We need to write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal shown by the model. So our model is here. Now we know that our model is cut into tenths. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this one is cut into tenths also. Now, as you can see, we do have one hole shaded in. So we know that our fraction, if we're going to start with our fraction first, we know that we have one hole, and this is going to turn into a mixed number. And we're going to look over here at this model, and we have tenths, but only two of them are shaded. So this is going to be two tenths. We have one whole and two tenths. This is our mixed number. Now let's go ahead and write the decimal. We're going to use a place value chart to help us. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a place value chart and you're going to draw one also. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my place value chart. I know that I have one whole. So I have one in the ones place, and I have two out of 10 shaded here, which means I have two tenths. So I need to put a two in the tens place. So my decimal is here, one and two tenths. Whenever I get to the decimal point, I say the word and, one and two tenths. All right, let's look at number four. Number four, we're going to write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal, but we have a different model this time. We have a number line. So we're going to have to write our fraction or, or decimal with this number line. So as you can see, they've given us a little bit of help here. We have the decimal form here at the bottom, and then we have fractions at the top. Now, we are know that we're out of tenths because our denominators are out of tenths and also we're going one to the right of the decimal which means that we're out of tenths. Now we need to find what decimal and fraction or mixed number is at our point. So here we have our point here. Now we know that we have gone past four holes 
and 5 tenths. And we know that over here is 4 and 10 tenths, or also 5 wholes. So if this is 5 tenths, we have 0 tenths here, or 4 wholes. We know that this would be 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths. So we have 4 and 8 tenths in mixed number form. And in decimal form, we have 4 holes and, when I get to my decimal point, 8 tenths. So we have 4 and 8 tenths as a mixed number. And in decimal point form, 4 and 8 tenths. Notice how we have 4 holes. We have our and with the decimal point. And our 8 is in our tenths place. Not tens, but tenths. All right, let's jump down to number 5. It says write the fraction or mixed number as a decimal. So they're giving it to us in fraction or mixed number form, and all we have to do is write it as a decimal. Well, we know that we have 4 tenths is for our first one. We don't have any holes, so we can go ahead and in our ones place, we can put a zero. Now we have the decimal point, and we have four tenths. Well, in the tenths place, which is right here, we're going to put a four. Four tenths. This is four tenths in decimal form. Now let's look at number six. We have three and one tenths. Three holes and a one tenth. If we go to our decimal form, we know we have three holes. So that's what goes into our ones place. Three holes. And we have one tenth. So the one goes in the tenths place. So we have three and one tenths. All right, we're going to turn now to page 173, and that's where we're going to be working now, page 173. Let's go ahead and look and listen to how they solved question number one. We're going to be looking at when decimals and fractions are out of hundredths. Now, we have our model here, and now this time our model is divided into 100 equal pieces, equal parts. So the parts that we had before, the tenths pieces, now they've all been cut into 10 smaller pieces, which equal 100 total pieces. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can come up with our fraction and decimal. Now, we know that we don't have any holes. We don't have a whole one shaded. Now, our denominator is going to be out of 100 because we have 100 equal parts. Now, we have 77 shaded. So we have 77 hundredths. 77 out of 100 parts shaded. Now, to write it in decimal form, we are going to right in the ones place, we have zero holes. Then we have our decimal point, and then we have seven tenths, seven of the tenths shaded, and then we have seven individual hundredths over here shaded, which equal to 77 hundredths. So that's how we write our fraction and decimal form Four hundredths. Okay, let's look at number two. It says to write the fraction or mixed number and decimal shown by the model. So our model has changed. Now we have a number line. So we're going to look at our number line and we're going to see if we can figure out what the fraction and the decimal is. Now notice up here we have fraction form and we have decimal form. 
Now, we know that we don't have any holes because there aren't whole numbers here. And also, if you're looking at your decimal form, there's a zero in the ones place. So we haven't quite reached a hole yet. Now, our point is here. I'm noticing that we are out of hundredths. There's 10 here, 20, 30. So we know that we're out of hundredths. I know that I'm in this spot right before the 30 hundredths. And here I have 20 hundredths. So if it's right before the 30 hundredths, this must be 29. So I know that I have 29 hundredths. And that is my fraction for my point. Now, if I have 29 hundredths, or my fraction form, I'm going to look at my decimal form here. I know I have 30 hundredths. Notice how my 30 goes to all the way to the hundredths place. Here we have tenths and hundredths. So my 29 hundredths is going to go to the hundredths place also. So I have zero holes, decimal point, and I have 20 nine hundredths. Here is my tenths and here is my hundredths. Let's look at number three. We need to write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal by, shown by the model. So we have out of hundredths, we know that, we know our holes are cut into 100 pieces. So if I'm going to write my fraction first, which is always easiest to start with your fraction first, I know that my denominator is going to be out of 100. Now, I can see that I have one hole shaded. So I know I have one hole. Now I need to look here. This is where I'm going to have, get my fraction. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So I have 54 out of 100 shaded over here. So my mixed number is 1 and 54 hundredths. Now, there is our mixed number. Now we need to write our decimal form. So I'm going to go ahead and get it started for you. And I want you to see if you can fill in the place value spots for our 1 and 54 hundredths. Go ahead and try that and press play when you're ready to check with me. Okay, let's check our decimal form. We know that in our 1's place we have one hole one hole shaded, and we have 54 hundredths here. So my 54 comes after the decimal point. So I have 54 hundredths. And remember, this is my tenths, and this is my hundredths place. If I were to read it, I would say one and 54 hundredths. All right, let's look at numbers five and eight. Now, we want to write the fraction or mixed number as a decimal point. So we have 37 hundredths and 25 and 50 hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and write the place value spots down for you. For place value form. And I would like you to fill in the spaces. So you are writing these two fractions in decimal form. Press play when you're ready to check your answer. All right, let's go ahead and check. We have for 37 hundredths, we don't have any holes, so we put a zero. And after the decimal point, we know we're out of hundredths because my denominator is hundredths. So I need to put my 37 and go to the hundredths place. Now for number 8, 25 and 50 hundredths, I have 25 and 50 hundredths, 25 holes and 50 hundredths all the way to the hundredths place after the decimal point. 
All right, friends, we're going to go ahead and start on our homework. Our homework is going to be on page 174 in your Go Math book. So we're going to do only numbers 1 and numbers 2 in your Go Math book on page 174. When you get done with your homework, go ahead and assess yourself and tell us if you feel like you are a level 1 novice, level 2 apprentice, level 3 practitioner, or a level 4 expert. I hope that you have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye!